In the meantime, joining me right here to talk about some of the biggest stories in the markets, Caroline Woods is with me, senior markets correspondent of Schwab Network, and we're talking about two big tech names collaborating, um, Amazon, the new AI chip, and also deepening its relationship with NVIDIA. Tell me more about that. Yes, expanding their AI partnership, and it's interesting because Amazon and NVIDIA are the only two of the Magnificent Seven not higher today, not participating in uh, the, the tech rally, although you mentioned the Nasdaq has turned flat, so kind of offsetting some of those gains. Amazon's down about four tenths of a percent, NVIDIA is down about one percent, although both have had impressive months and years. But this is despite announcing, uh, announcing an expansion of their strategic AI collaboration at the Amazon reInvent conference, which is the annual customer conference. AWS announced a new chip for training AI models, as well as a general purpose Graviton 4 processor, and then said it will offer for access to NVIDIA's latest H200 AI graphics processing units, GPUs. Just like with its online marketplace, Amazon uh, Web Services will offer multiple, um, you know, services at multiple price points, both Amazon branded and not, including obviously NVIDIA. So Amazon Web Services says we continue to innovate with NVIDIA to make AWS the best place to run GPUs, obviously up against mm. some stiff competition from the likes of Microsoft. Jensen Huang said, driven by a common mission to deliver cost-effective, state-of-the-art generative AI to every customer. NVIDIA and AWS are collaborating across the entire computing stack, spanning AI infrastructure, acceleration libraries, foundation models to generative AI services. Also interesting, Amazon not getting a boost from, uh, they didn't release any financial details, but actually said that Black Friday and Cyber Monday was its biggest shopping event ever. Uh, Amazon said customers worldwide bought more than one billion items on its platform during the period. I think I'm responsible for mm -hmm. at least about half a million of those, but uh, but not giving shares a boost. But keep in mind, Amazon up about 10% this month, 75% this right. year. Yeah, I mean it's amazing and big news in both fronts when it comes to the, the just movement of AI and that they're depending more on this um, for growth for Amazon Web Services, coupled with the great shopping that we've seen. Jen Rogers Niffen really called it, saying that he thought we would see better numbers than some were expecting. And then another story as we see Micron down about 3% today. Um, your thoughts on some of the higher costs? Well, it's interesting because Micron actually boosted its outlook, but shares are still sliding. We're seeing them down about 3%. This is another stock, though, that's performed very well this month, up about 12%, year to date up more than 50%. Uh, the memory chip maker said it now expects revenue of about $4.7 billion on an adjusted loss of about a dollar per share. In September, it previously gave uh, guidance for the current quarter of $4.4 billion, plus or minus $200 million. So still, this $4.7 billion is better than that, and an adjusted loss of $1.7 per share at the midpoint of the range. That being said, uh, well, I should note that Micron cited improved supply and demand balance and improved pricing for the, the better outlook uh, that came in above its prior guidance. But it um, did say that, you know, I, I think that the, the, the bigger issue is that operating expenses are going to come in higher than previously expected at $1.1 billion. The previous forecast was $1.01 billion. And of course, it's the fact that it's still not turning a profit. You know, it hasn't turned a profit since August of 2022. So it seems like maybe Wall Street's expectations were a little bit higher for Micron and even this boosted guidance isn't quite getting them there. I will say the, the executives were taking part in the UBS Global Tech Conference in Arizona and they did say that they're making good progress in their communication and their meetings with Chinese officials. Obviously, China has been a big headwind for Micron, but not enough good news to turn shares around. They're down about 3.2% right now. All right, thank you for both of those stories. And we're seeing the rest of the semis with down arrows today. Thank you, Caroline Woods.